Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angel for those of you who don't know me, and today is a very big day because Itzy just dropped their newest music video with their newest comeback titled Loco. So I've been losing my mind over the teasers that have been posted on Instagram. The e-girl fashion is just off the charts right now and I'm obsessed. Like pairing Itzy with um, Tomorrow by Together, they really are the fourth gen it girls and boys of this generation. They're just so cool. We got the emo spectrum, we got the e-girl spectrum, and I am so excited to watch this video. So I'm not going to do much more talking. Just give this video a like, subscribe, comment down below, and hit my post notification bell for when I upload new videos. Without further ado guys, let's get into Itzy. Let's get it! Okay, so Itzy is definitely about to go loco, and I can't wait. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this song. I haven't heard any of the teasers for the music. I've only seen teasers photo-wise, and I watched the video teasers a little bit with the sound down. I don't know why, I was committed to going into this cold turkey. So, okay, we want captions and we want them in English. Not Korean, because unfortunately I cannot read that. Okay, let's do it guys, let's do it. Okay, starting off with the gamer girl. Loco is calling. Loco. Okay. Look how cool Yeji looks. Like, what the heck? Ooh, that was a cool cut. Look at Lujin. Get a shot of poison to my heart. Yuna is an angel. Oh. She looks so pretty. I should not get so excited because obviously I'm not a real angel, but I love seeing angel imagery. And Yuna is my bias, so. She looks pretty. Okay. I love this look on Yuna. No way out, surrounded by my thoughts of you. Ooh, and she's in a prison. I think I'm a little obsessed. Oh, love you. oh my gosh, Kitty Edgy. Yeah, Feeling the fuego tonight? The ring light. Ooh, that was cool. I don't want to go back so much. I like the way they switch from Yuna's outfit to the next scene. They're so good at transitions. Loco, loco. I have a little shake. I love these outfits, but I gotta say, Cheneyong's is definitely giving me Wendy from Red Velvet with Sims on the Bim. And um, look at how good Cheneyong looks. She looks amazing. Oh my gosh, and it says Loco on her shirt. There's probably like all the songs from the track list. I keep on going back and forth. It's held in heaven. I did not speak enough about Rujin just doing that rap part. Let's go back, please. Because she crushed that the way she came in. And I love her outfit and her hair. Yes. Especially the edge is broken. Wow, Barbie dolls. You're the type to risk it all, but you got me acting rational. See, look at how cool she looks. Tell me Yuna doesn't look like she's from Descendants there. Ooh, I like how Leah sings that. She understood the assignment. Oh my god. Where is this for this kitty? This is not what I was expecting. But I actually really like it. I love how they're just dancing on a billboard. Oh my god, the fashion! Yuna's glasses. 
The dressing room makes me think of, um, I think it was Dalla Dalla. I think it's their debut. Ooh, we're getting a dance break right now. Look at that eyeliner that everyone's been doing. The first person I noticed to do that was Rose and Jenny. And then now I'm seeing it's like a trend and I'm loving it, the highlighter eyeliner. Oh my gosh. Yes, Legion. Oh, I love when they do those moves on the ground. Yes, I saw this part. They go crazy here. I'm obsessed with Virgin's look and Yuna's. Wow, I love the dancing. Wow. Ooh, it's not over. Ooh. Hear that bass down there? Oh my god, they're so cool. Look at Rujin, she looks so pretty. Yes, turn it up. Wow, this is a whole movie. Get a loco. Okay. This is like one of those Barbie rock star movies. It's the pop star or whatever. Crazy in love. I love their crown dance moves. Signature on brand. Yes, Cherry Ooh. They really, oh my god, I love how the smoke went out of the lens, like of the screen. It surpassed the video. I'm getting loco loco. Yeah. I'm getting loco loco. I'm obsessed with Yuna. Oh, Rujin. I'm obsessed with all of them. That was phenomenal. I'm sorry, but Loco, Crazy in Love. I can't wait to listen to the mini album. I'm gonna do that, I think, right after this. Wow, guys, that was sick. That was really, really cool. At first, I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't so sure about the song, because when the chorus hit, I was like, what is this? This is different. This is not itsy. It doesn't really sound like itsy to me. But as it progressed, it really grew on me. I love the lyrics. I love how the whole concept is about like not um, being someone who doesn't do reckless behavior. Like you don't put yourself out there, but when it comes to one person, like you're willing to risk it all. Like you'll just go loco, you know? And that really does happen when you meet somebody that you're just like completely in love with, infatuated with, even if it's like somebody you just really desperately want to be friends with. It's like you'll go to whatever length. And they know it's not healthy, but they're going loco. You can't stop it. Once you go, there's no going back. But um, that was so much fun. The fashion has to be some of my favorite from them. The um, transitions, I expect nothing less from a JYP group. They killed the transitions in the music video. The dancing, I love the dance break. That was so good. And the rapping, Rujin really stood out to me in that verse. She sounded so good. So anyways, in conclusion, Loco by Itzy, it's definitely a hit for me. I loved it, and I'm definitely, I think it's going to grow on me just the more I listen to it, and I think it definitely is going to surpass Mafia in the morning, because in the morning is fun, and I definitely hated it at first, but it really, like, it's, you have to let them marinate, but this one, it marinated so quickly, I was just like, oh, I can get on board with this, I'm going loco, so I really like it, but that's all for today. Let me know what you thought in the comments below about this song, and let me know who you think owned the um, music video the most and the concept. I think that they all really had a chance to shine, and I was expecting Yeji to own it for me because that hair, like, she demands respect with that hair. Not necessarily respect, well, yes, it's respect Yeji, but you know what I mean, like, she demands attention, like, it's, like, so in your face in a great way. But I gotta say, I think it was Rujin and Yuna and Cherryam who stood out the most to me, Cherryam. I feel like I keep saying her name weird, but really, really me, I'm a cherry on top. That's how I'm saying it. But I'm gonna go now. So let me know in the comments below who you thought stood out the most. Also, let me know your itsy bias if you have one and what you thought of the song and your favorite B-side because I'd love to hear from you guys. So that's all for today, everyone. Goodbye.